Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be going through the very first update for Forza Motorsport. Now this has come out for all platforms so Steam, Xbox um, and North PC. So there's been various updates some specific to certain platforms but we're going to quickly go through them all and then at the end just want to recap on some of the things that haven't been fixed unfortunately. However we must admit this is a step in the right direction which is great. So we're going to start off here at the top with the all platforms um, so stability issues that have been fixed so it starts with general stability improvements with fixes for various crash scenarios so that could cover a plethora of things um, fixed a crash that could occur in the builders cup career mode after upgrading a car and entering open practice in the fox body challenge race on Watkin Watkins Glen a very specific one fixed a crash that could occur on the Grand Oak club circuit during a cinematic when entering open practice for the third race of Builders Cup intro series, fixed a crash that could occur when entering a free play race from the My Cars menu if there were too many cars with custom thumbnail images, and fixed a crash that could occur upon loading into a free play race. So really there's only one sort of generic fix there. Um, the other ones were very sort of specific um, to certain scenarios. So that's just the general stability and that obviously affects all platforms. The next one is the progression, which again affects all platforms or has been updu updated for all platforms. Uh, adjusted car part unlock levels to increase player upgrade option at lower level cars. Most car parts should now be unlocked within a single builder's cup series. So that's great. That's something they've obviously listened to the fans about. So effectively what this means is you can now unlock more car parts at a lower car level. So for instance, before if you were level 20 you only had half of the unlocks available now if you're level 20 you might have three quarters of the unlocks available um, or for instance weight reduction was unlocked at level 15 it will now be unlocked at level 8 something like that so we can actually go into the game and have a look at that in a bit uh, improvements to ensure car affinity manufacturer reward discounts are unlocked when intended once a player reaches car level 50 in a car from the respective brand i if you get one car to level 50 in a mercedes you will then get a discount and so on and so forth progression this is just specific to the xbox series x and s fixed an issue that will cause players to lose gameplay progress if they continue to play forza motorsport after a new up game update has been released so hopefully that fixes that and it doesn't affect it after this update. Uh, graphics update specific to Xbox Series X and S is fixed an issue when entering and exiting the video menu in game resulted in black levels being substantially raised, creating a washed out look. So obviously that's just to do with the visuals. Multiplayer, now this affects all platforms again. Fixed an exploit and featured multiplayer where in specific scenarios a player could post impossible lap times into the qualifying leaderboard by entering qualifying directly from a practice session so that's obviously a good thing because otherwise it meant that people go straight into qualifying and they'd be in P1 straight away um, which was just ridiculous. Resolved an issue where at times incorrect safety rating and driver skill ratings were used for matchmaking. Well, it's about time. Uh, if you watch my previous video, you'll see that I was getting rammed off the race and I am in S class, but there you go. Fixed an issue where control of the car wouldn't be handed back to player upon exiting the pits in feature multiplayer and beginning a solo race in free play. And fixed an issue that prevented players from downloading and saving another player's livery while in a multiplayer, uh, private multiplayer pre race. So they've not fixed a ton on the multiplayer but it's a step in the right direction however there are obviously quite a lot of things that still need to be addressed on there such as various people's skill ratings being uh, lobbed into higher skill ratings um, sort of lobbies livery editor all platforms fix an issue on the 2016 Ford number 66 Ford Racing GT Le Mans while, re while moving a decal around the top or hood of the vehicle while in livery editor which caused decals to appear reflected and offset on the other side of the car. Fix an issue on 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS where striped decals would not correctly line up between the hood, roof and wing. Fixed a crash encountered in applied decals when importing a layer group from previous Forza games and then attempting to apply a vinyl shape. If I'm honest, I've not even been able to import my old uh, livery groups or designs from previous Forzas, so that's an issue in itself. But anyway, that was just various livery editor issues. Um, 
where obviously it's affecting all platforms. Tracks for all platforms. So they've updated trackside flak textures on Indianapolis Motor Speedway and fixed an issue on Le Mans track layouts where a specific curb will stop LMP cars as if they were colliding with an invisible wall. So that's probably to do with the suspension with the car being so low on the LMP cars uh, and the curb being too high. Physics, this affects all platforms again. Improved wet tire wear rates in conditions where track wetness levels are moderate. Wet tires will still wear quickly in dry or semi-dry conditions. So obviously when it's fully bucketing it down with rain, the wet tires will probably last a bit longer compared to if it's just spitting or there's a bit of water on the track. Tuning setups, again for all platforms, fixed an issue that prevented players from downloading another player's custom tune whilst browsing a leaderboard. So that's obviously to do with when you're online in a multiplayer thing. Accessibility, again for all platforms, fixed an issue where custom keybinds for a controller or keyboard would not be saved between game sessions. Accessibility, this is just for Steam. Fixed an issue where the speech to text window did not appear when speech to text or text to speech would be enabled. And the other one was fixed an issue where the speech to text or text to speech window would persist on screen for an indefinite duration until the game is relaunched. Replay, now this is obviously when you watch your races over after completing one, this affects all platforms. Improved the visuals of the replay camera shown for the last segment of VIR Grand West. Cars, now this affects all platforms and this is the end, uh, the last section. So we'll go through them. Fixed an issue with a 1956 Jaguar D-Type where cockpit view would appear too low and clip through the driver's collar. <laughs> Fixed an issue with the Alfa Romeo Giulietta Quadrifoglio Verde where the front of the car disappeared after selecting a front bumper visual upgrade. Fixed an issue with a 2014 Volkswagen Golf R side skirts could not be seen after installing a body kit. Fixed an issue with the 1977 Holden Tirana where both street and sport roll cages would be visibly present on the car after installing a race roll cage. Remove visible graining on the 2021 Lexus LC500 race roll cage texture. Fixed an issue with a 2004 Porsche 911 GT3, 97 Skyline GTR and 2018 Renault Megane RS and 2012 Mini John Cooper Works GP where high level roll cage would be visible on lower level upgrades. Fixed an issue with a 2021 BMW M3 where RPM displayed on the digital dash would be desynced from the RPM shown in the Forza HUD. Fixed ambient occlusion errors on both the exterior and interior views of the 2016 Cadillac ATS-V and fixed a separate issue of damage geometry clipping when viewing the vehicle from a distance. Fixed an issue with a 2014 Lamborghini Huracan where no light is cast from the car gauge and dashboard cluster as well as headlights, taillights and brake lights. We've also fixed ambient occlusion errors on this vehicle, so all to do with the lighting. Updated the mirror texture of the 2018 Subaru Adrian Flux Racing Levorg GT from a repeating pattern so it's intended semi-gloss metallic silver texture. Fixed an issue with a 2020 Chevrolet C8 Corvette Stingray where using the remove wing upgrade left the stock wing visible on the car. Fixed an odd behaviour scenario that would occur for players who own the Forza Premium Edition or Premium Add-on Bundle on both Xbox and Steam and use the same gamer tag. both versions uh, were duplicated. DLC cars will result in an error message prompting the player to repurchase the associated DLC and fix an exploit where DLC car duplicates purchased from the showroom could be used on another account or platform when the DLC has not been purchased. So there you have the very first update 1.0. That's all the release notes from it. Now obviously there are still several things that have not been fixed and I'm not talking about adjusting sort of how quickly you level up a car or things that we want to see but just problems that people have been having one of which is the save game issue which seems to be affecting people on steam and xbox uh, whereby you go to tune your car and the game will crash out or you'd come out of your game and you lose all sort of your your progression from a specific racing event or intro series etc so that's obviously a massive one that does need to be addressed pretty soon but like i said they are going in the right direction with all of this and it is good to see and obviously they've already managed to um, address the progression issue where now you can unlock more car parts at a lower car level which is good to see but obviously there are more important things they need to focus on as well as some multiplayer issues there's some quite bad multiplayer issues uh, including things such as if you're getting run into and you somehow get a penalty for it all of that they need to address pretty quickly but i'm sure they will 
like I said, it's great to see that this update has been sort of brought in quite say fairly quickly not as soon as a lot of people would have wanted to see but it's it's still been done in decent time but i want to know from you guys what problems you're still seeing if there's anything you're annoyed about with this update or things that you're happy to have seen i know there is still a lot of problems out there so it would be good to hear what you guys have to say hopefully this has sort of been of interest to you um if it has i'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe if you're new to the channel and dropping a like as well massively helps me out but like i said let me know down below in the comments what issues you're still having and what you want to see get fixed by turn 10 asap anyway folks like i said i hope you found this of interest make sure you stay safe thank you very much for watching and take care